It's a black-owned South African company that wants to change the narrative about South Africa's reported uh, slow pace of uh, taking up the artificial intelligence boom in the world. Khotso Chikani is the chief executive officer of the company, and he says the future is robotics. Let me correct this, this name. It's Megatech AI. Megatech AI. Thank you. Right, yeah. <laughs> it looks like AR, yes. AL, but artificial intelligence is mm. what it stands for. Thank you. Yes. Thanks so much yes. for coming into studio. Thank it's you. Good to have Thank you. you. Thank you yeah. All right, so I've, I've emphasized artificial intelligence. Mm. Remind us, what is it? Mm. Okay, artificial intelligence, I mean, by definition, is an optimization process that steers us into a particular set of configurations. Uh, I suppose in layman terms, we can say, is how we use science and engineering to build intelligent machines. Yeah. Uh, but uh, for us, it's not uh, just about building a machine. It's about uh, building this, the software or writing the code that enables the machine to do complex functions. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, human beings do it, or the human brain perform complex functions. So, I mean, it, it's... So the, the way in which we see uh, artificial intelligence is that it should take us to a, a substrate of thinking uh, that is way beyond, beyond biological tissue, meaning that we need an augmented brain or an, an augmented human to perform certain functions because at the rate at which things are happening, uh, machines you know, far outpace us yeah, in, yeah. in memory, in calculations, in, in, in cognition, and you know, cognitive capabilities and so on. So Incredible. we need to, to move it to a point whereby uh, we, we, we look at artificial intelligence as a, as, a, as a next level. The fourth industrial revolution has ushered in a new phase uh, uh, in which uh, we use uh, the Internet of Things, sensors, um, uh, to, to enable us to communicate uh, much more uh, fluently, uh, much more efficiently. It creates an ubiquit a ubiquitous platform yeah. for us to... to, to Talk to me about how you got involved in this. I mean, what, what attracted you to robotics and, uh, and designing, as you say, the, the, the data, basically, to enable the robot to do what is expected of it? Yeah. I mean, if you look at it, I mean, uh, in this historical context, is that, uh, I mean, the first, second, third industrial revolutions, you know, left uh, the African continent out of the race, yeah. if you like. You know, uh, Africa was busy, uh, you know, uh, fighting wars of liberation and so on. But now, as a free people in, in a new Africa, you know, whereby 60% of the youth in the African continent are using social media all the time, we need to you know, begin to think about how we can uh, leverage this new economy. It is a new economy. Yeah. It introduces a, a new pedagogy of learning, you know, learning through online, through you know, using um, simulation, using... Um, um, uh, audio, video, to, to, you know, to take education to another level. That's why there are a lot of um, uh, online learning courses now. Yeah. You know, there's, a, there's a flood of them. So it, it, it's the, 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 you know, the world has changed. There's been a seismic shift in how we should uh, look at uh, technology, how we should look at economics. For instance, the advent of big data, right? has changed the, 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 you know, the economics of discovery. Yeah. Many years ago, uh, scientists used, used to look at small samples of data. You know, but now we're not even talking about metadata. We're talking about you know, uh, big data. We're talking about hyperdata, yeah. whereby we need to ha have new rules and new heuristics, maybe even hyper -heurist heuristics, to begin to, to say what data means to us. Because uh, if you look at... Uh, a data sampling or, or sampling or statistical sampling, and you look at um, a small data set, you know, that's what used to happen in the past. But now the orders of magnitudes are overwhelming. Mm. So in, in a sense that, you know, then the qualitative becomes quantitative and vice versa. Yeah. Gone are the days whereby you can take a small sample, you know, statistical sample, and draw your own conclusion. Now what we do is that we have a hypothesis, and then we, we take the, 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 the data, we put it in a simulated um, environment, like in a, in a, in a code or if, if in a, say, like an algorithm, if you like. Mm. And the mal algorithm does permutations that uh, we will not, once we put it in a, in a machine, yeah, it, the way in which the data is chained, it you know, uh, comes up with variables that yeah. we, 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 we won't even know 
what the outcome is going to be. I Unlike before, when you did programming, it's yeah. what you put in is what you got out. So programming was brittle and it was not scalable. But now you have an era whereby machines are the ones that are, are Give learning. Give me an example of the kind of machine you make. What do you do? Like when you talk about dance home, you talk about something that your company actually produces. Give me a physical example. What is the, what is the kind of technology that you're working with now? Okay, I'll tell you what. Okay, at the moment, um, we, we're doing a lot of uh, data simulation. I mean, we, we, we're using, unfortunately, uh, uh, American data at yeah. the moment because that's the one that's uh, it's currently available on, on the Internet, on the platform that we're using because we're using an open source uh, programming uh, source code. And Google is, 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 is much more better. Yeah. Um, um, I mean, we could use Amazon or Azure, but those are much more proprietary platforms. But so what we do is that we take a, a simulated data and we, 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 we look at various variables. I mean, you can tell us, you can say, configure this data in the following manner. Mm. You know, then we'll apply data science rules. We'll, we'll, we'll use basic principles of, of data science. We'll say... Uh, what is the data model, you know, uh, what are the data cleansing issues, you know, what is the master data uh, requirement, and then what is the, the data uh, governance model. And then once we've applied that criteria, then we're able now to, to say, you know, uh, this data needs to reside in, in this environment. So we, we, we then move it from where it is to a new environment. So okay. we have a new algorithm for storage. We have a new algorithm, for instance, for database management and so right. on. So, so it's, a, it's like, um, uh, if you like, by definition, we are in the algorithmic economy. Everything now is going to be done by algorithms. Algorithms are going to calculate for us. You still will enjoy the benefit of highly qualified statisticians and actuaries, uh, but machines uh, uh, you know, will, will invariably do it better than them. So what we do, we take data, we put it, put it in, a, in, a, in a code, for, for lack of a better word, or to simplify it. And then the, then the, the code, because it's got, uh, it's like we call it a neuromorphic uh, you know, uh, code, if you yeah, like, yeah. because it it's, it's, it's tries to simulate the human brain, the human cortical column, yeah. you know, the way in which the, the human brain functions. So we're trying to, we're, we're doing a code that simulates a human function, because a, a human function has got many interlinkages. Absolutely. You know? so, so once you put your information in that sort of neuromorphic uh, okay. source code, then it, 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 you know, it, 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 it spills out a, a completely different uh, wow. Listen, set I need, of variables. I need to go on a yeah. robotics course yeah, sure, to understand sure, exactly sure. what so, you guys are doing. But the reality is it is the future. It's unbelievable. You already are employing uh, 70 young IT technicians, which I think is just fantastic, and software developers. This is a growing field. It's a field that I think that uh, most of the youth are so interested in and that uh, uh, we are seeing a growth with local companies developing this. Khotso Jukani is the the Chief Executive Officer of Megatech AI. And this Friday, they are launching an artificial intelligence outfit that promises to bring South Africa up to speed in terms of this rapidly growing sector, which is creating amazing innovations globally. I think we need to do an insert on this so that people can actually visually see what we're talking about. It's difficult to understand something like this if it's not anything you know about. So to see it is a different, is a different thing altogether. Khotso, thank you. Thanks for talking to us and good luck. Okay. I hope it goes well. Thank you, thank you. I'm going to say thank goodbye you to you much. from now. Have a seat, Toto. We'll, we'll see you in a short while. Let's, uh, let's take a break. In fact, I'm saying goodbye now. I'm going to say goodbye. No, yes or no? Yes? We're taking a break. I was set to say goodbye, then I'm not. Now I am. Let's take a break. We'll come and say goodbye after this. Stay tuned. <laughs>